So I've been without internet for two months. Uh, completely out of touch with a lot that's gone on in the past few months. Uh, mainly because I don't have access to everything I need simply on my cell phone. But, here I am, ladies and gentlemen. Here to talk about something that's been talked about for months and months. Gamergate. And for those of you who don't know what Gamergate is, look in the description because I do not have the time to explain every bit of detail. What I'm going to talk about in this video is the simple fact of the bandwagon of Gamergate. A simple video, ladies and gentlemen, the bandwagon of Gamergate, the, the group of people that are making, are getting hundreds of subscribers, if not thousands of subscribers for simply picking up a torch and picking up their pitchforks. Why? Or how is this happening? Well, let me explain. See, Mundane Matt and the Internet Aristocrat were originally the ones that broke this whole story out. They're the ones that explained everything in detail. They're the ones that uh, exposed, uh, shown screenshots, uh, linked you to sources, and things like that, of that nature. Well, what has a lot of other people been doing? Recently, what I've noticed is that simply the game, Gamergate is a bandwagon. Oh, everyone is... Everyone doesn't like these groups of feminists, therefore let's all get in the same group because let's join the bandwagon because that is the path of least resistance in this case. Um, I've seen countless videos where pretty much you could call it they plagiarized someone else's work, post it into their own video, claimed no source as original material, and just said, Hey guys, did you hear that Zoe Quinn had sex with people for a... Uh, promoting uh, her game and for money and for good press and everything. Originally, there's no difference with with what's been said like with now and back then. The only thing that's different is now we have our various websites and uh, personalities involved with the gaming community that are either frowned upon or all of a sudden gods because fuck women. Look in the situation we have now. I've made videos against a certain person in the past. Might as well name him right now. A. Salieri. Who has been promoted on a channel involving science. An accredited scientist. A guy that I'm a true, that I'm a real fan of. And A. Salieri made a video like this. Magicians have taken over the world. Patients have gained control of the asylum. It is the deranged lunatics of Harvard and Cambridge who today run the circus. You, but we control the journals out there. We decide what you believe. No, they say So you have a guy promoting another person's video simply because fuck women and one's an accredited scientist and the other is blatantly stupid. <laughs> so we have people, the enemy of the enemy is my friend in this case. We have people that have no original content whatsoever in regards to Gamergate but are willing to slap that hashtag in there and talk about, hey guys, let me explain in a 10 or 15 minute video about uh, how bad these women are and how, many pe and how their logic makes no sense by rehashing what someone else has already said or did. Uh, that's all we have here, folks. What really, what new stuff has has come out in regards to the information that was presented? What new arguments have been made? What new, what what's new in the situation? The only two people I've seen original content, or the only three people I've seen original stuff come from, is the Internet Aristocrat, Mundane Matt, and Thunderfoot. In regards to this situation, everyone else seems to be copying what the other person says because of views, because of subscribers, because of money. If there were, was ever a time to call people lazy and how they make their videos and how they show, how they portray themselves, this is definitely the case right here because it's becoming countless the amount of videos that say, 
yeah, uh, let me go ahead and rehash what so and so what what this other person said, um, so I can capitalize on the press. How hypocritical in a situation like this? Because you know you have people that are mad because they're being argued with because other people have their torch and pitchforks in regards to they're hating the people that are pro GamerGate. But let's go ahead and rehash what the other person has said. Let's show no origin originality whatsoever. There is very little new information that that is presented since day one of GamerGate. And that's the reason why I feel like I don't want I don't like talking about this. And it is simple, guys. I am pro Gamergate. What it stands for in regards to true journalism, unbiased stuff, and especially not sex for promotion and wealth and personal gain. That is disgusting. That is why I support Gamergate. But I am not going to jump on this damn bandwagon of nonsense where I'm just. Oh, hey guys, uh, did you hear in the news that Zoe Quinn slept with someone? Now, let me go ahead and repeat this several times and make several videos stating what someone else has already said. Not an original thought in my head. Let me just continue this. Okay, guys, now be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. It's ridiculous. It's lazy. But yet, there's people. Stalkers. A. Salieri, a stalker, a person who is greatly, it seems, anti-science, being promoted by someone who is science who loves science and uh, that's why I'm, it's whatever if you uh have a, tor a torch and a pitchfork you're fine in everyone else's book um so now we have stalkers and idiots being promoted and getting thousands potentially thousands of subscribers uh based on nothing original nothing new very very lazy work i'm sorry that's the truth, guys. You cannot admit that something new has happened in the past month or two. We've heard it all before. If pe it's if people need to be taught that having sex with someone, and you know, it's it's like argue. Someone on YouTube says two plus two equals five, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fat. And if you don't believe me, you are anti math or whatever. Would you claim that the person that makes a video is saying, no, let me explain how 2 plus 2 equals 4 would be a freaking genius? Would they be like, they would they all of a sudden be, yeah, man, that guy's right. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Fuck yeah, give that guy some subscribers, man. Better, I'm going to subscribe to him right now. He said 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's completely unoriginal. You do not need the mind of a freaking genius to realize that half the stuff that these feminists, uh, in quotes are saying and how they're trying to defend what Anita Sarkeesian is saying. If you need someone to tell you that, then you're not so bright in the first place. The only thing that caught my attention was, wow, finally someone has said, someone has exposed that there is some stuff going on uh, with gaming news and gaming websites. Reviews are being influenced, money is being made, promotions are being given. And it's all because a woman pretty much sold herself. What a surprise. And that was that was amazing because now you had confirmation. All the people that said, oh, IGN is bought. And uh, uh, I, uh, people pay uh, certain websites for good reviews. It was confirmed. If This, it, this cannot be the only case where the, this has happened. It's blatant now. It's been shown. That's what I find interesting. What, what I don't find interesting is, hey guys, did you know that, uh, let me explain in great detail how uh, someone is a complete liar. And it, it, it's easy to spot this stuff, but people need to be told. It's sad. It's sad. And yet we're, and now we're given stalkers, general assholes, thousands of views. What a surprise here on YouTube. But... And people like the amazing atheist lifting, or or the investigator, whichever was involved. I almost feel like the amazing atheist told the investigator, "Hey, uh, go uh, research this, and then come back so I can put this on my channel." And it was lifted. That investigator bit that was on the that's on the amazing atheist channel, not on the investigator investigator's channel, but on his channel, was lifted completely from the internet aristocrat, and then copied and pasted onto that video. And there you go. Ship it out. Let the money come in. So, I've been gone for a while. I have a lot of videos I have lined up. 
But yeah, this is my thought. That's my thought on Gamergate. It's a serious issue. It's it's an issue that was that's been exposed, and I'm glad it has been. But come on, what's with all this unoriginal nonsense? Go out and do some research yourselves instead of waiting for someone else to make a video and then oh okay, I'm gonna copy and paste what he said. This is That's Doable. See you guys later.